Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central also allows for an end user to integrate the solution with other Microsoft applications. In this example, we're going to highlight how Outlook can be used to be able to interact with Business Central data to make important decisions or even in this situation to provide a quote for a particular product that a customer is requesting. Inside of Outlook, you can see that this is first off the web version. We support both the web version and also the on-premise or desktop installed version to be able to go through this type of a scenario. Inside of the email, we can see that the Antwerp conference table has been requested. And in our more actions here, we can actually access the Business Central contact insights by clicking on the particular icon that relates to this email. You can see on the far right that a pane expanded out that then has the Business Central information. And we can also see that this particular customer has not yet been set up as an actual contact inside of the Business Central environment. What I can do is I can click on Add Scott Prepare as a contact and I can relate them then to the actual company that's going to be quoted as part of this process. In this situation, Scott Prepare is going to be part of Tray Research inside of our environment. After I go through and select this and press on OK, the system will go through and then generate that particular contact so that way in the future we know when emails come in that they're related to this particular customer. And what we can also then see is the balance information about Tray Research very easily and quickly on this particular screen. So we can see the details, the balance information, what's past due, and we can also see the AR information about that given customer from within Outlook itself. Now what we can also do inside of this environment is we can actually go through and then set up a quote to bind towards this. We could have done it from within that action, but what we can also do is we can click on our more actions, click on our business central, and then click on the generation of a new sales quote as opposed to navigating through the sidebar portion that we were just in. By creating this new quote, when I click on that particular action, the system will actually go through and take the email that we have, parse it out, and then also suggest any line items based off of the content that's been described inside of the email. So you can see here, we have a suggested line item. We think we found one or more items that match the text inside of this email. And then that Antwerp conference room table is actually now accessible or actually an option that we can add to the sales quote. So I can go through and then click on the add action and then set the quantity that I want to add for that particular sales quote. I can then go ahead and check this off and then from the system's perspective, it will go through and then generate that particular sales quote for the customer based off of the information that's in the email. We can then uh, fill out additional information if we wanted to. We could change the shipment date, uh, the payment terms, and some of the defaults. But the finality of this is to actually go through and then send it by email to be able to inform the customer that this is the particular value that will be required for you to be able to purchase this table. They wanted a quote with it, and what will happen is that that quote will actually be generated as a PDF attached into Outlook here so that we can interact with it, and then you can actually go through and then send it on to that particular customer. You can also take it and automate this as well, meaning that it can actually just sit as a sales quote, and then at some point in the future, you could actually go through and then send that out as needed if you'd prefer to do it in a bulk type fashion. Once the quote has been generated, we can now access that in the future as well. So if I take this out of full screen and then I access Business Central inside of here and I go into our sales quote, so if we actually go through and refresh our screen, we can see that no longer do we have two sales quotes, we have three. And by drilling into that, we should see the current sell to contact, Scott Prepare, with that particular sales quote, which means that that particular quote was entered in the system from within Outlook.